an update of how we're progressing this morning. Good morning. Man, what a sunrise. It is still unfolding in front of us. And, um, you know, life's a balance because we have this beautiful camp spot, beautiful sunrise, and I don't have any coffee. I was out of coffee uh, yesterday. I used my last, and then there was no instant coffee at the gas station where we resupplied. So, luckily, I did have one pack of hot chocolate, um, but still, no hot chocolate. Beautiful sunrise, no hot chocolate, or no coffee. So, what a balance of life there is. So we do have a pretty cool day planned, I think. We're only gonna do like 15 and a half because that'll put us, set us up for a Nero into town the next day. And we're gonna be back in the snow. I don't really know how much, but the intel, the intel ahead shows that we have a good bit of snow here in a little bit when we get to 8,000 feet. So I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the sunrise and then uh, we'll get to hiking in a little bit. Just said goodbye to this amazing campsite for the night and headed back down this dirt road towards the trail. And man, I hope I don't overload you with these sunrise and mountain videos, but man, this morning was gorgeous. Also, one thing I wanted to thank Chica and Sunsets, they sent some virtual trail magic for Roadrunner and I to get a round of drinks. If those names are familiar to you, especially if you've watched me on the AT, you probably know those names. Chica and Sunsense have a hostel in Franklin, North Carolina. They also have a YouTube channel, which I think is just Chica and Sunsets, and they will be starting the PCT in a few weeks. So check out their channel if you're interested in following anyone else. Um, they are a married couple that have hiked I don't know, lots of other trails. I know they've done like the AT, um, the Ice Age Trail, the Camino. I'm not sure all the trails they've done, but they've done a bunch. So check out their channel. And other than that, I'm just going to be walking uphill today. We've got, I think, three or three, over 3,000 feet of gain. And, uh, just going to be moseying on up until we get to the snow and then we'll probably slow down to a crawl. Good Lord, my house was on fire been hiking about two hours this morning We're getting about five miles and a lot of climbing all morning climbing still got about 1500 feet to go over the next few miles before we get to our high point but as you can see we're getting closer and closer to the snow and look at this view Right, go to a road and campsite 10 miles in. It's 10 miles by 10:40 a.m. And I gotta tell you, your your comments and the support on YouTube helped power me the last thousand feet up that 3,000 foot climb. I stopped and took a break. A really good rock that was like a chair. And Bethany. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Um, just seeing the, the trail magic you sent gave me enough motivation to fly up that last thousand feet like it was nothing. And then there was another comment that had me laughing. 
It said Roadrunner was a spy masquerading as a uh, ballroom dancer. And I was a history teacher at Cornell. I'm far from a history teacher. But I'm real close to lunchtime. I got about 50 more feet to Roadrunner and it's lunch. We had a nice lunch, just started walking. And now we're in the snow. Whew. We're at 8,000 feet too, and my breathing can tell. Um, looks like so far it's just little patches of snow. You probably can't tell in here how steep this is. We just had to cross that. I used my axe and my micro spikes. I kind of butt slid down this. You have to watch Roadrunner's channel to see it in action. My shorts are soaked. They may be ripped. I'm not sure. <laughs> We came from right here. Roadrunner got to the edge of that and she was ahead of me and didn't realize the water was so deep and just stepped right in it. I came to this side. I was squatted down right there on the edge, filled up a bottle, started to give up. The snow gave way, I slipped on ice, both feet went right down in that cold, icy water. Got a dry patch of ground here. And let me tell you, the snow traversing is really slowing us down. We made such a good time this morning. Not so good this afternoon, but beautiful views. I just did a pan to my right. Uh, the panoramic that you saw just before me talking. I'm looking at over the camera right now. What y'all think is going on on the other side of there? Probably nothing good. It's under 24 hour live or recorded video surveillance. Violators will be prosecuted. Yeah, I don't want to be violated. violated or prosecuted. We're only point one from where we're camping and there's a whole ski lift set up. We just crossed some ropes at that ski boundary, just up there. I've never been snow skiing. But it looks kind of like a lot of fun, huh? It is 2.20. I'm sitting at this camp spot. Roadrunner and I have already done our 15 and a half. Um, the snow slowed us down a little bit, but... Um, we started a little bit earlier this morning and no problemo, we're here. Problem is, there are bugs everywhere. They were, we were supposed to get here and then do a short near run to town tomorrow. But we are two miles from town and it's hard to sit here all day. But we're not sure how far the others are behind. So we're gonna have to see if we can get some service and get a hold of them, see where they're at. But before that, let me show you this campsite. There's also like trash and privies up here too. So it is a really good spot. There's picnic tables all over the place. Mostly snow free. Good mix of shade and sun. Roadrunner and I are here at camp. We've been here for an hour and a half and are you having fun? I am having so much fun. Two, uh, two miles from town, and it's uh, not even 4 p.m. yet. So this is quite the look with this hoodie and the glasses <laughs> on top. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. We we got here, and we're like, it's 2.30. We did all our miles. The plan was to get to here today, and then Nero in town instead of zero. So we only had the one night in the hotel. And um, 
Now we're here. And I'm loving it. It's so much fun just to sit here and like relax. Roadrunner is so unhappy. She says it's so boring. It's she like wants a waste of time. I said let's we go to town. We could have Nero today and then back out tomorrow. Well, we did a full day today. We can't Nero today. This is a Nero. If you if you're done at two p.m., then no. you're Nero. Nero is near zero miles. It has nothing to do with it time. It doesn't matter. It feels like we Nero. did more miles today than it takes to. You need to average per day to get done in Nero less than is. six months. I know what a Nero is. We're two impatient people. Oh. When we, we checked with them, Fireball and Hammer, like once we got here before four we set up our behind. tents, and they were like four point something behind. So, and that four miles was the ones that take a while because there was some snow. So, we're here. They'll be here in a little bit. We're going to like have such a good time tonight because I'm going to gather some firewood and we're going to build a fire for the first time. Cause we're going to play rummy like a lot. Probably. Yeah, we're going to play rummy. You will not play rummy, I bet. No. <laughs> it's, fires are allowed here. There's actually like steel fire rings and, and all that. So, And there's uh, piles of snow to like put the fire out. So um, there, that's what we got. It is about 4.30 and I'm just laying in my tent resting. Roadrunners in her tent laying down. We still have not seen Fireball and Hammer, but we heard from them they're on their way. So yeah, we just have a, a night of rest and then two miles into town in the morning for a good Nero. So I'm going to go ahead and close the video out here. I think we may make a fire if they want to later. Um, other than that, this is going to be it. So have a good night and see you all tomorrow.